Hey guys, in this video we're basically going to be talking about how we create this animation that you see in front of you. If I go from the start, it actually zooms in, the header uh, comes from the top, and then if I scroll down, you can see something like this. So let's go ahead and see how that's done. In order to do what I just previously showed you, we actually have to first go to our image, and here we have our image, which is the EPS file. I'm going to open it in Illustrator. Uh, and you can grab this image from uh, FreePix as well. And FreePix actually has a lot of different images that you can use. So the first thing that, as you can see, is there's a clipping mask. Like even if you don't see it, just always try to actually release the clipping marks. You can also do it by the Command Shift Seven key, so I or Command Option Seven key. And then once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and separate the foreground and the background out. And the, the way to do that, like you can do that in different ways, but I'm basically just going to hide all of the background that I'm not going to use. And I am going to extract the foreground myself. So here we have basically hidden all of the, all of the background elements. I'm going to now copy this foreground. I'm going to paste it here. So here we have our foreground. I'm basically just going to remove it. I'm going to unlock everything. And I am now, I also need to fill this middle gap. So I'm basically just going to select all of this. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to move these uh, mountains here. I'm actually going to go to the mountain. I'm going to press A and just going to align it like this. So, okay. So here we have our mountains and the image. I'm basically just going to go ahead and unlock everything. Now we can go and export this image on option shift S. And now here we have our presets. I'm going to say I want to export it as a JPG. Uh, the size probably needs to be, I don't know, I'm going to give it a large size, like maybe 4000. And then I am going to save this image. So once I've saved it, it's going to take some time. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'm going to say I want to save it on the desktop. So here we have our image. As we can see, we have the image here, and that's all we need to basically get started. So I'm now going to go ahead here. I'm going to close my Illustrator file since we don't need it, and I don't want it to slow my computer down. I'm going to say that the artboard that we're going to work with is going to be 1600 by 1000. We are going to go ahead and create and name this home. And basically, by default, we are going to just basically just drag this image here. We're just going to make it slightly smaller, and we're going to grab our foreground image and basically copy it as a PNG and then paste it here. Uh, so here we have our image. Everything I think looks fine. Uh, let me just move it slightly to the left. So here I'm basically creating the header and I am obviously speeding the video uh, a bit because no one probably wants me to just figure out the names and create the header or the navigation. So I'm just going to speed this. But if you do want to see uh, all of these things in detail, I can let me know and I can actually ignore speeding these up in some of the other videos. And basically, yeah, I think that's done. So I think the, our first screen is created. I also want to obviously add some text here. I want to say explore the night sky gonna say it's gonna be 48 pixels it's gonna be very bold maybe not that bold but yeah something like this then we're gonna have a description underneath it which is gonna be let's say 20 pixels i'm gonna say i want to add let's say three sentences for the description here we have our three sentences we're gonna make it medium um, put it in auto layout center align it i'm gonna say this is gonna be the intro text again i'm making this a component as well so i can change it from the same place and basically this is going to be behind our foreground we're going to remain rename this to a foreground and rename this to a background and this is going to be reduced in opacity and hiding behind our foreground like this so now what we basically want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to create a home to screen and we basically want to say that after a particular delay of let's say 800 milliseconds or maybe let's say 100 milliseconds is just going to be one second we want to smart animate the screen and now on this screen what we want to do is basically make this smaller i'm going to go ahead grab the background i'm going to make the background smaller as well and i have to grab my intro text gonna make it visible and basically just going to say it appears here 
I also want to go ahead and say the header by default does not appear and it actually is above sitting above somewhere. So I'm going to say it's sitting probably here. So now as we can see, if I refresh, we have this great effect of um, the whole image sort of like perspective changing and some parallax effects being applied. And this is basically how you go about create a quick uh, parallax design. One thing that I obviously want to do, I want to go ahead and I want to I think the, the book a session text is like quite large. So I'm going to change that. I also want to increase the padding from the top, maybe 16 and 16. So now that that's done, I think it should probably be a bit better. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. So yeah, this is exactly what it looks like. And I think it probably looks fine. We can obviously go ahead and expand this particular effect to have some other elements and actually just let's just go ahead and do that but I wasn't thinking of doing that so that this video just doesn't get too long but let's just go ahead and actually do that so I'm going to basically expand so actually I'm just going to expand this thing so now that we have that expanded I'm, I'm going to say that we're going to have a content here I'm basically just going to give it a color it is going to be colored like this and basically at this point it's going to have let's say some other text so i'm basically just going to copy and duplicate this text into this frame this is going to be the experiences frame so discover our experiences or something along those lines then we're going to have a and again as a different text i'm going to auto generate it basically then center it then we're going to have let's say three frames well yeah, one frame is going to be like this. I am going to go ahead to unsplash and I'm just going to choose any image that comes up and I can replace that later. So this image is probably fine for now. I'm going to give it a title, uh, Midnight Sky. Or maybe the, the text can actually be at the top of this particular thing. And yeah, I think... Or maybe even at the bottom is fine we can obviously explore some other options later as well but just to keep this simple i'm going to go ahead to my lorem ipsum i'm going to say auto generate some text this is basically going to be slightly smaller so let me just make it smaller and slightly lighter and this particular text obviously needs to be slightly bolder and now i'm basically just going to uh, adjust do some adjustments and duplicate this particular item i'm also going to go ahead and download some images from freepik um, and obviously replace some text here and after i'm done with that i'm going to go ahead and download some images so as you can see obviously you can go ahead and grab these images for free yourself as well but i'm going to do that and after i'm done with that i will go ahead and individually replace all of those images uh, in the frames or in the components that I've created, basically. So here I've downloaded all the images. I'm going to go ahead and do the frames. Just going to go ahead and drag the first image, drag the second image, basically, replace it, the third one, and then the fourth one. Now, some of the text might not make sense, but again, like I'm just showing you how to apply a particular effect, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so now what we want to do in this particular effect is we want to say that by default, if a person actually cl clicks on this, we can actually say uh, scroll down and we can have a arrow here as well. So arrow minus down. Let's just rename that with font awesome. So now that we have this, I'm just going to make it thinner. And yeah, that's done going to basically make that an auto layout component and also I'm going to place that this is going to be our scroll down button I'm actually going to place this scroll down button here as well I'm just going to make it slightly at the bottom and basically what's going to happen is if a person actually clicks this button they're actually going to go to a separate screen so now I want to go ahead and I want to slightly move these elements down so what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to select all of these elements, move them down, and actually all of these, move them down. I'm going to now individually move all of these down. So let me just go ahead and actually remove the clip content so I can see these images even if they appear outside of the frame. So I, I don't see it because I need to remove this clip content as well. 
And now that that's done, I'm going to re remove the opacity on all of them. So I can just basically remove the opacity like this. So now that I have that done, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to make this clip content. I'm going to say this is going to be our home three. And in the home three, what we basically want to do is anytime a person clicks on this particular thing, we want to go ahead and apply that same anima animation. We al already have the smart animate and the ease and ease out. So that's good. And basically now we just want to move this slightly upwards. And I'm going to press the space key so that it doesn't uh, escape the whole thing. I'm going to move this, these two images at the top. Just like this. And probably like this would be fine. And now I'm going to move this whole thing at the top. And we obviously don't need such a large thing, but let's just go ahead and actually now make all of these things visible. So now that we have all of these visible, I'm just going to say they're going to be top aligned and basically it, they're going to be positioned like this. So now if we have a look, we have this animation that looks good. And then once a person clicks on scroll down, we have these sort of animations and we can obviously move this whole thing a bit upwards if we want. And they can be below the header. So now let's have a look at it again. Uh, we have this when you click on scroll down, it looks like this. And obviously we have, uh, we need to move it a bit more upwards. So now let's just go ahead and actually move this a bit down and let's have a look at how that looks. So I think that looks fine and that's pretty much it. Though I, one thing that I want is I want some star uh, background at the top because this looks very plain. So let's just go ahead and actually make a rectangle and then add the stars so we can have more control of them. So here we have our stars here. I'm gonna say these stars are gonna be an overlay um, then we have the overlay and we're going to reduce the opacity of the stars slightly. I'm also going to move all of these stars at the back and also going to go ahead and reduce the opacity. So now if we have a look at the whole thing, we scroll down and yeah, I think that looks good. And that's pretty much it for this video. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon. Do let me know if you need anything else, but I'll see you in the next video. Take care.